Welcome back everybody. This is Eric and Barry from Moss Pond and Gun. And today we have another phoneless gun gripe for you, as you saw earlier. Shouldn't have that problem, okay? It's handled. Alright, today we're going to be talking about muzzle discipline. And this is something that really gripes my damn nerves, is the lack of muzzle discipline. So it's the lack of muzzle discipline. Barry? Well, we have this happening every day. Uh, people come in here, sweep, sweep our bodies and face and vital organs with a loaded gun. They don't realize it's loaded. But I'm looking down a gun barrel and I don't appreciate it. Now, uh, muzzle discipline, you always treat a gun as if it's loaded. You never point a gun at anything you do not intend to shoot. Now, customer came in just, just today, had his mag out, said his gun was empty, he wanted to find some sights for it. So I take the gun out of his hand, I said, is the gun unloaded? Yeah. Oops, had a loaded round in it. Now, Smith & Wesson here will not fire with the mag out, but that doesn't matter. If he'd have had a Glock, he'd have left the round in it too. Um, so that's, that's something that really gripes me too. We got people coming here with fully loaded eight-shot Mossberg pumps. Oh, it's not loaded. Well, I'll determine that, you know, in a moment. But a guy handed me a gun the other day, said it was unloaded. I could tell it was loaded. I can tell a loaded Glock when it's loaded. You know, also, in addition to people bringing in guns that are loaded, one thing that really gripes me is when they take offense to the fact that you want to visibly check the guns yourselves. Right. They'll be like, well, it's not loaded, and then they hand you a fully loaded uh, 870, and it's, it's loaded. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Right. But yet, you know, it just really gripes me. That, that's a big thing is muzzle discipline. Mm -hmm. You know, people come in here, and they'll, you know, grab a gun. Oh, I want to look at that gun. You give them the gun. Oh, yeah, I like that. And they're squeezing the trigger right in your chest. Right. Ugh. I had a woman today buying a gun. Uh, Tony was selling it to her, and every time I turned around, she had the gun pointed about six inches from my head. I finally had to say, ma'am, uh, point the gun in a safe direction, please. You know, I mean, it doesn't matter if the gun is loaded or not. It's highly offensive when you point a gun at someone, even unintentionally. A lot of times you guys might go hunting with guys at a hunting camp, and you don't get invited back. It might be because of the way you're handling your gun. People don't want to be around somebody with a gun. It's, it's too dangerous. If that gun discharges, you can't call that bullet back, and it don't care what it hits. Once that bullet leaves, That's it's it, gone. Buddy. That's, That's it. it. And That's you it. can't take back your actions. No. You know, good muzzle discipline is something we all have to practice. I mean, never point a firearm at something unless you intend to destroy it. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter if it's a fake gun, a BB gun, it doesn't matter. Muzzle discipline still comes into play. You know, people that play paintball. You know, yeah, paintball is a fun sport. We shoot at each other. You know, airsoft is a fun sport. You shoot at each other. But you only do it at a prescribed time that you're supposed to. Right. When you're off the field, when the game is off, you don't play around. You don't point, you know, airsoft or paintball guns at your friends unless, you know, you're in a game and you're ready to play right then and there. And the same thing goes for guns. You always practice safe muzzle discipline. Point it down at the ground, or if you're in a building with other people, like in a gun shop, Point it over at the wall as far away from anyone else as you can. Or, like if you're at a gun show and you want to look down the sights of a gun or check it out, point it up in the air, you know, out of, out of the direction of a person. Right. But it makes a lot of people standoffish when they get a gun pointed at them. Whether it's loaded or not is irrelevant. It's a courtesy of making sure you're practicing proper muzzle discipline. Correct. I have guys coming here, young guys especially, one of them will grab a gun off the rack and point it at his butt. Uh-uh, don't do that. Don't do that. If I see them doing it again, I'm going to tase them. Now, I, uh, I had to warn one guy two times one day. The third time, he's going down. But uh, you see that kind of foolish activity going on, too. And that's what causes people to get killed with guns. And every time somebody gets hurt or accidentally killed by a gun, it makes, it, uh, it makes us all look bad. It sure does. Right. Well, Barry, why don't you tell them about the uh, inconspicuous gun well, case that comes in. The, uh, the classic case, a guy comes in and says, look, I got a shotgun that I need to pawn. Well, okay, be sure it's unloaded, sir. So he comes in with it zipped up in a case. He saunters up to the counter. This, this part of the, of the case is sweeping my body. He lays it down. Oh, it's unloaded. Oh, it's unloaded. And you go like that, and there's a live shell in it. Put the safety off. That is entirely uh, inappropriate. When you enter a gun store, a pawn shop or whatever, your gun needs to be like this. It doesn't even need to be in a case. It needs to be visibly unloaded with the breech open. When you walk in a gun range, a gun shop or whatever, you have the slide of your automatic lock back. 
If you're carrying a revolver, you open the cylinder, you carry it by the top strap. They should see immediately that this gun is not loaded. If you walk in the gun range down the road down here with a gun like that, you might get shot. Well, see, here's the thing also, Barry, is it's just common courtesy. It is Okay, and courtesy. like, you know, we have a sign on the door that says no loaded firearms. Now, don't get me wrong, if there's a properly licensed concealed carry permit holder with their gun on them and we don't see it, we, we, we have care. no problem people carrying guns in here. The thing is, is if you're going to bring in a gun into the place of business and you're going to try to sell it or pawn it, or if you bring it in for gunsmith and work, what we mean by that is, hey, that gun needs to be unloaded, and that's just proper safety, especially if you're one of those kind of people that you're really bad about sweeping people with the muzzle of a gun. Right. You know, that, that's just a very bad practice. So that is a fail-safe that businesses have in order to make sure that you're being safe. And, and we hate to be that way, but it, it's just proper business practice, and it's just common sense. Well, what happens, uh, if, you, if you're a concealed weapons permit holder and your gun is concealed and we don't see it, you don't, you're not even going to be drawing your gun or pulling your gun. But when, right. you have, when you're pawning a gun or you're buying a gun or, whatever, or selling a gun, the gun has to be manipulated. So we want to make sure that the gun is unloaded. And we can't emphasize this enough. Now, um, I've seen too many times, I've seen guns go off in gun shops. I've been standing at gun shows and had a gun go off. Yep. Now, how that gun got past the officer at the door uh, without a zip tie on it or whatever, how that gun got loaded later, I don't know. A little boy was killed right over here about five years ago. His dad was buying a, was buying a holster for a pistol. He didn't have his pistol with him. So the guy behind the counter says, well, here, take my gun and try it in the holster. So the guy, the little boy standing next to him, he puts the gun in the holster and the, the gun goes off and shoots the little boy in the head and kills him. Eight-year-old boy. What was that man doing in a gun show with a loaded gun? That's the problem I have. Well, remember also, people, that a business owner or gun shop, establishment, what have you, they are also responsible for the well-being of their customers. Their you customers, have to understand also right. how a customer feels. If we're in a gun shop and we're conducting business and someone brings a gun in and sweeps all the customers, well, then that becomes also our issue. Right. Because even though a customer may not openly say, you know, hey, I was just swept by this guy and I don't feel too comfortable. They'll just leave. Mm -hmm. And then you won't get their business right. and they may not ever be back. So that's why a lot of businesses get pretty uppity about what people are doing with their guns while they're in their establishment. Mm -hmm. It's just common courtesy to make sure that you practice good muzzle dips discipline and making sure you don't point a gun at anyone. And that's right. just very, very bad practice. And we see it so much. I mean, it, it even happened to me today. Yeah, I showed a lady a PLR-16, she walked up, oh yeah, I like that, took it from me, and was holding it like this, mm -hmm. looking down the side at my neck, and I'm like, <laughs> I grabbed it like that, and I pushed her over the side, I said, you can look down at it now, but, you yeah, know, it's, right. just, it, it, it's right. just people that just have completely no common sense well, about it's, that kind it, of it's thing. Not made, it's not really that it's no common sense, it's gun ignorance. They don't realize... You know, you hand them a gun, they know in their mind that the gun isn't loaded, but that's beside the point. It doesn't matter. Right. You develop the habit of never letting your gun muzzle point at anything you do not wish to destroy. That's right. Now, like Eric said, if customers are in here, we are liable. We are, we are responsible for our customer's safety. And right. if somebody gets hurt in here accidentally, they could say it was our negligence. And we're not going to be negligent. Uh, used to be if somebody came in here with a loaded gun, they were immediately ejected from the store. Immediately. Get out. Do not come back. We don't want your business. Well, we realize now that we kind of had to soften that a little bit, but we're not going to get too soft on it. Nobody's going to come in here sweeping us with a gun. You can't be soft on, you know, making sure that people are safe with guns, and that's the right. bottom line. Right. So that's our gripe for the day. You know, I know this is a very simple subject, and it seems like, you know, real common sense uh, practice for a lot of you. But um, it is something serious, and you have to make sure the people around you are being safe mm -hmm. and that they're practicing uh, proper muzzle discipline. Well, people like Eric and I have handled guns for years. We take it for granted ourselves sometimes. To a degree, yes. To a degree. But there again, you have to work on this constantly to develop good habits with a gun. And once you develop the habit, it's not a problem anymore. That's right. So I guess we're going to close this one out for the evening. And uh, right. we hope all of y'all tune in again. And we got some good videos coming up. We got a lot of good stuff in the pipeline. So oh, y'all yeah. keep watching. We've been brainstorming a lot on uh, gun gripes and firearms facts. We got a lot of wonderful things in the pipeline, of course. 
Also, if you guys don't know, we have a new uh, saltwater uh, fishing page that we've started up, a new channel. It's called Real Men 8888, R-E-E-L, like real, fishing real men. Uh, check that out if you'd like. We're going to have our first videos coming live probably around the 5th of March. And it's going to be mainly saltwater fishing. And, of course, it'll have, uh, you know, equipment reviews and, uh, you know, fishing and just all kind of stuff. The same way we tackle the gun industry, we're essentially going to... Uh, go towards, you know, the fishing right. stuff. So if you guys support that page, I'd greatly appreciate it. So uh, we appreciate y'all watching, and we'll see y'all next week. Y'all have a good evening. All right.